Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Lars Mastanning and welcome to a review video of this new Anis ZR350. Let's check this thing out. Now this thing is super cool. It's the Master RX7 in real life and in other GTAs it's the ZR350. It has been in the ETA in San Andreas among others. And it's pretty dang cool to have it back in GTA 5. It looks super slick. This actually version looks much more like the car is supposed to be portray the RX-7. This thing looks almost exactly like the RX-7. It's crazy. I mean, they really hit the nail on this thing. The only thing I'm a little disappointed by that you couldn't get the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift body kit. The wheel side body kit. It, was, it would be so cool if they made it into this game. Like changed it up a little bit so they can use it without getting, you know sued by wheel side <laughs> uh, but I'm a little bit disappointed we couldn't get that to this car because that would make it so cool but I still like it the RX-7 is a cool car by itself and this thing looks amazing I put some over fenders on it I put some sick new wheels on it the wing and some tuner exhaust on it and that's also a thing I got a little bit disappointed at that I couldn't have a one side mounted exhaust I wished I could just had one slanted like out, out to this side that would be so cool to have single exhaust going out there that would be so cool oh well it still looks pretty dang good i think and on the inside it's pretty dang sick as well you would be mistaken to think i modified the inside of this car but no it actually has carbon on the dash and on the doors originally so I felt like I didn't need to change anything. The only thing I, I changed, I think, in this interiors are around those uh, dials to the right there. I changed it to like silver color or something. Silver gray. That's the only thing I changed on the inside of this thing. And that concludes the design portion of this video. Next up, we are going to be talking about the price and this is worth buying and all those goodies. But first, I made a little montage of this car so. Hope you guys enjoy that, and I'll see you guys after with me finishing the review! Welcome back guys, hope you enjoyed that small montage I put together about this super awesome RX-7. So, let's talk about the price. This thing costs in a trading price, which you can get if you're enough reputation on the Los Santos Car Meet membership. And that cost is 1,211,250. And that's actually a good, uh, good price. Unfortunately, I could not get it, so I have to buy it for the buy now price, which is uh, 1,615,000. And as I said before in my reviews about these new Los Santos tuners cars, none of them 
are really worth that much because they are priced the way the supercars were priced when they first came out in this game and I think it's a little much to have a, a freaking sports car worth over 1 million. I get it, Rockstar wants to get make money, want people to buy their uh, fake money in the game but at the same time, you know, it sucks. Let's get to the bad stuff. Like I mentioned before, I really dislike that you couldn't have a super changing body kit like the Tokyo Drift body kit. I understand you can't do every please everyone and like guess what people want. They make their own kits on these cars, but it would have been so sick to have that. And other thing I would uh, clank down on it is the backside. The bumper you can get for this car does not look good. The diffuser is way too low, makes the car look super weird in my opinion, that's why I didn't get one on my car here. Just left it stock because that diffuser in the back looked very weird to me. It did not look that great. Maybe if you'd like to put a stupid ass big wing on it and a super splitters and splinters or whatever you call it, <laughs> everything on it, maybe it will fit, but if you want a clean like tuner car like me, definitely does not fit the bill at all so that's kind of one thing I don't like that it did but that's pretty much it I really like most of this car there's not a lot of things that I didn't like so this is overall a great car okay let's get on to should you buy this thing well if you like the RX-7 in real life and you like the way this looks because this is basically the same car but in GTA I suggest you definitely buy it to grind up whatever you want to do to get this car because it's very fun to drive easy to drift and it sounds amazing the the, <laughs> the pops of the exhaust this this sounds so good and i think this actually might be really good in the racing scene at least in the straights because this is kind of fast i wouldn't say it's a super the fastest one you can get but it's it's up there so guys that's gonna conclude my personal small review of this new Anis CR350. If you guys enjoy this review, you know what to do. You leave a like on this video, you subscribe, turn post notifications on of course, and after doing that you will never miss an upload of mine. And uh, yeah guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day, I am out.